What's up party people and welcome to 30 days of yoga camp. I'm Adrian, and it's day 25. Time to get the juices flowing, feel alive, welcome and wake up these babies uh, because the mantra today is I am strong. Let's get started. Okay, today we're going to begin standing at the front of the mat. Plant your feet hip width apart, loop the shoulders, stand up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, jumping right in today. Exhale, floating the fingertips down at your sides. Inhale, reaching up, press into your feet. Just connecting with the breath here. Exhale, floating it down. The mantra today, I am strong. So inhale, reach up and say to yourself, I am strong. Exhale, down. Great, interlace the fingertips, loop the shoulders, open your chest, open your heart to this idea that you are, you are indeed quite strong. We have all the strength we need within, just need to cultivate it and connect to it sometimes a little bit more. So just uh, keep that in mind as we move today through a fierce and fun practice. Inhale in. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Go ahead and take a couple breaths here to check in with the body today. Grab the elbows, rock a little side to side if it feels good. Shake the head a little yes, a little no. And try to just stay in the moment. Don't worry about what I said about this being a fierce practice. Just stay in the moment. You never know what could happen. Stay present. Maybe the mantra crosses uh, your mind again. I am strong. Can you be strong in your breath today? Strong in your foundation. Here we go. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach for the sky, spread the fingertips, press into the earth, strong base. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Great. From here, we're going to walk the feet together and slide the right toes back into a nice low lunge. Start to stretch it out here. Allergies killing me. You might lower that back knee. Just explore here, nice and slow, stretching out through the lower body. Nice and slow, finding your alignment, excuse me, finding that action. Engaging body. Full body experience. And then step the back foot up to meet the right, come back to your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Bend the knees, fingertips to the mat, and feet together. We step the left toes back now. And we explore here. Connecting to all parts of the body. One moving part here as we play around, waking up the muscles, stretching it out. Then come back to your nice low lunge. And from here, we'll plant the palms and step the right toes back to downward dog. Melt your heart back. Melt your thighs back. Breathe deeply. Find movement that feels good here. And then come to a nice place of stillness. Big breaths. And slowly lower onto the knees. And drop the belly. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Just a couple of these. Inhale, welcoming that heat to the body. Getting the juices flowing. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, rounding through. Great. Curl the toes under. Send it back up. Down dog. Then walk the big toes into the center line, drop the left heel and lift the right leg up high. Square the hips here, drop the right shoulder, breathe. Right toes down to the earth. 
Inhale in as you exhale, squeeze the nose up towards the knee. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, nose to knee. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, nose to knee. And then step it up into your nice low lunge. Great, inhale, look forward. Exhale, hug the inner thighs to the midline. Connect to your center, you got this. Reach the fingertips up high, high lunge, you got this. Inhale, exhale, ground yourself. We can always lower the back knee here, no problemo. Still a very strong pose. Everyone, with the arms reaching up and overhead, bend your left knee and tuck the tail just a hair. Lengthen it down towards the earth so that you can stack the spine and then send it back. Big breath in. With control, slowly belly to the top of the thigh, fingertips to the mat. Plant the palms, step the right toes back, slowly lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, cobra, press into the tops of the feet. Exhale, release. Two more just like that. Inhale, cobra, play. Wake up the spine. Exhale to come down and one more, nice and slow, mindful. And exhale, release, good. Press up to all fours or to plank. Take a deep breath in and then send it back, down dog. Good, walk the big toes together, drop the right heel, inhale, lift the left leg up high, square the hips here. Left toes down, draw your left shoulder down just a hair. Here we go, lifting from the left inner thigh, inhale. Exhale, squeeze, nose to knee, cultivate strength. Inhale, three-legged dog, I am strong. Exhale, nose to knee. One more time, inhale. Exhale, nose to knee. And step it up into your nice low lunge. Take a second here to gather your bearings. <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Then draw the inner thighs to the midline, lengthening tailbone down as you lift your heart up, high lunge. Inhale in as you exhale, ground down through the shoulders, knit the lower rib cage in. Again, we can come onto the knee, but it's if it's lifted, bend the right knee softly so you can lengthen the tailbone down, head over heart, heart over pelvis. And then squeeze the inner thighs to the midline as you straighten that back leg out. Strong, fierce pose here. Inhale, reach. Exhale, with control, rain it down. Belly comes to the top of the thigh. And then we plant the palms and step the left toes back. Move through a vinyasa here, belly to cobra or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath. We'll meet downward dog. Stay strong, you got it. Bend the knees, big breath in as you look forward. Then exhale, hop, jump, float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart, take a rest, gorgeous. Notice your breath, relax your shoulders. I am strong. Say it to yourself. Say it, don't spray it. And here we go again, soft knees, inhale, reach for the sky, big breath. Exhale, takes you down. Inhale, lifts you up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step or hop it back to plank. Slowly lower to your belly or chaturanga to cobra. Or excuse me, chaturanga to upper dog, belly to cobra. You know what to do. Send it back, downward facing dog. Great, big breath in, big breath out. Then walk the big toes together, draw the left heel down, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Cultivate strength, right knee to right elbow as you shift your weight forward. Inhale, three-legged dog, level the hips, crossing over right knee to left elbow, gaze forward. Three-legged dog, press into all 10 fingerprints one more time through the center, carve a line with your knee all the way to your nose, and then step it up into your lunge. Again, high lunge here, cultivate strength, draw energy in towards the midline, and we rise up strong. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, grounding down. Inhale, lift the chin. 
Go for the gold here. You got it. Beautiful. Big breath in. Exhale to release with control. Belly to the tops of the thigh. Top of the belly to the top of the thigh. Fingertips back. Airplane arms. Spread the fingertips. Create space in the neck and the shoulders. Pull back. And then slowly releasing palms to the earth. Taking the right toes back. Maybe keeping it lifted as you play in your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Drop the right heel. Slowly slide the left leg up. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee to left elbow. Nice and slow. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Level the hips. And crossing over. Left knee to right elbow. Strong. Inhale. Three-legged dog. Last one. Give it your all. Nose to knee. Carve a line through the center. And step it up. High lunge. Soften through the back knee here. Cultivate strength from within as we rise up strong. Use an inhale to find expansion, to lift. Use your exhale to ground. Beautiful. Full embodiment here. You might lift the chin. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You might sink a little deeper. Then slowly we release. Belly to the top of the thigh. Airplane arms to the back. Spread the fingertips. Create space. Strong in the legs. Front knee over front ankle. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then slowly release. Plant the palms. If you lifted the right leg and during this vinyasa, try doing it on the left. Move through your flow. Take it all the way to down dog. And then all the way to your knees. Take a rest. Send the hips back, child's pose. Close your eyes, keep breathing here, stick with it. Keep noticing the sensations in the body. Give your thinking mind a rest. Slowly, coming back to all fours, sending the hips up high. Downward dog. Slowly walking the feet up towards the front or hop, jump, float to the top. Come to a nice forward fold. On your next breath in, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, forward fold. Stick with it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Step the right toes back. Plant the palms. Step the left toes back. Then from here, I'm going to take my right hand right to the center of the mat. Press away from the yoga mat as I slowly turn onto the outer edges of my feet. Then lift the hips and begin to open up through the left fingertips. Left fingertips all the way towards the sky. Stay here or stack the left foot on top of the right. Keep lifting the hips. If you want more, lift the left leg up high. Breathe deep here, strong. Careful not to collapse in the neck, nice and long here. I am strong. Big breath in, big breath out, sends you back to center. Take a rest if you need to here, otherwise straight to the other side. Here we go. Left palm. Slowly turning onto the outer edges of the feet, lifting the hips up. Nice and organized in the spine here as you open up through the right wing. Stay here or stack the feet. Find a variation here that suits you. Breathe, connect to your power, your strength. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Then use an exhale with control to come back, back to your plank. And we slowly lower all the way to the belly, everyone. Come on to the tops of the feet, inhale, cobra. Exhale, sends you all the way back, child's pose. Nice work. 
Inhale to come forward. Exhale back to that down dog. You got it. Drop the left heel. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Step it up into your lunge. Pivot on the back foot. And we're just going to pinwheel all the way, all the way open, open, up, and open to a nice wide legged position here. So center yourself on the mat. And then bring the hands to the waistline. And then we're going to draw the heels in and the toes out. Then I'm going to consider this magical upward current of energy through the front body, so I'm not collapsing. And this kind of grounding, supportive energy in the back body. So again, lift through the front body, grounding through the back body. Hands come to the waistline, we inhale, connect to that energy. And on an exhale, bend the knees. Take a peek down, make sure that you can see your big toes. So we're really wanting to draw the tops of the thighs out here as we sink the hips down low. <sighs> Super fierce pose. We're only going to do it this one time, so stick with me, stay committed. Welcome that heat, that energy, that prana that's swirling around your brow, <laughs> your lip, your armpits, right? Connect to your power here. So goddess pose or god pose about connecting to that fierceness. Lengthen down through the back body, lift through the front body, hands on the waistline. Go there, sinking deep, strong. So knees wanting to go out, not in. So opening up here. And take the palms together. Stay here, breathing, breathing, breathing. Pressing into all four corners of the feet. In particular, the outer edges, those want to come up first. And as you're feeling fierce, then open up. Cactus arms here, spread the fingertips. If you want to do claws, go for it. Draw the shoulders down and away. I am strong. If you need more, let's lift the right heel. Lift, lift, lift. And lower, lift the left heel. Whoa, Nelly. Keep the heart, chest open, lift it. And then stay where you are for one more breath. Or if you're feeling adventurous, lift both heels up. And then slowly lower. Everyone release hands to the waistline and press into the feet to straighten the legs. Awesome. Take a rest. Bend the knees, heel toe, heel toe the feet together or hop the feet together. Great. Find your breath. And when you're ready, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, down we go, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and bow. Great. We're going to take the heels out wide, toes spill off the mat. Bring the fingertips to the earth and slowly lower down into a nice squat. Notice what this feels like today. Find support strong in your breath. Stay here for the squat or begin to shift your weight forward onto the palms. Find a focal point out front, a strong place to rest your gaze upon and walk the two big toes together. Knees super wide. So we're either sticking to this malasana variation, the yogic squat, or we're coming here for a little Crow tutorial, crow practice. So you might just stay here, planting the palms. Or you might slowly begin to lift the knees up towards the arches and hold on to your focal point out front as you begin to rock front and back, nice and slow, connecting to your center. And then maybe you lift the toes up one at a time, pressing into all 10 fingerprints. Or maybe not. So just a little playtime here. If you fall, we'll catch ya. So just a little strong playtime here. So even if you don't know crow, you can definitely start to play with the principles of spreading the palms, looping the shoulders, connecting to that upward current of energy, drawing the knees up towards the armpit chest, the armpits, walking the toes together. Just playing with this gentle rock is a really nice way to start. And one day, maybe one toe lifts. 
Gaze is out front because if gaze is down here, you're going to do a somersault. And that's for my gymnastics series that I haven't done yet. So don't get ahead, overachiever. So a couple more moments to play here. If you are over it and you're over the squat, then come to this fancy yoga pose here. I love this pose. So we're playing. Let's take one more breath or two to play here. Rocking, just checking in with where you're at today. And then everyone, use your palms to support you to release that and come to seated. Soles of the feet are going to come together and hands are going to come to the ankles just to find this nice lift so you can use this as a little grounding point to lift up through. Big breath in. Relax your shoulders as you exhale. Great. Now keep the tops of the thighs grounding down. Send the fingertips down. Wrist forward, thrill our arms. Plug the shoulders. Breathe here. And then flip the palm, breathe here, spread the fingers. And then return hands slowly to the ankles or they can begin to open up the feet, the thumbs on the arches of the feet here. Draw the tops of the thighs down, inhale, open the chest, exhale, forward folding. Close your eyes, begin to cool it off here. Begin to cool it. Cool it now. Stay cool. And gently release. Bring the hands behind you. Lift the knees together. Walk the feet out and just a gentle windshield wipe ring of the legs. And as you do this, you get a nice little booty massage. That's what's up. That's, I'm not just being weird. If you, I broke my tailbone once, and so this sort of motion in the ocean is so nice for me and my spine, but it should be for everyone. And then the cool thing about this thing too, I like to play with this in public classes, is you slowly inch your way down <laughs> towards the edge of your mat. Great, let that go. What is she talking about? <laughs> Hands come to the backs of the thighs, and we slowly lower down. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug. Feel supported by the earth. And slowly we'll lift the knees, stack them right over the hip points, lift the shins parallel to the ceiling. Interlace the fingertips, bring them behind the head. Inhale in. As you exhale, send the right leg out long, slowly lower it down. Bring the right elbow up and over towards the left knee. Inhale, bring everything back to center. Keep your gaze up. Exhale, crossing over. So really pressing out through that left heel today as you cross over. Pause. Inhale, back to center. Crossing over. Right elbow to left knee. Extend, press through the right heel. Back to center. Over to the left. Extension through the left leg. No, over to the right, sorry. Inhale, back to center. I'm going to shut up and just let you move with your breath. Exhale, like twist. Inhale to center. Meet your edge today. Keep it going. Keep it going. And do one more on each side. Good. Inhale to center. Exhale. Recline cobbler. Soles of the feet together. Knees wide again. Hands to the belly. Give yourself a little pet. Good job. Awesome work. Soften through the jaw. Lick your lips. And then we'll slowly bring the knees together. Send the fingertips out left to right. And then pressing up off the toes, bring them in up towards your heart. 
Inhale in as you exhale, recline, twist to the left, sending the legs heavy over to the left as you turn your gaze gracefully over toward the right. Find what feels good here, my friends. Breathe deep. Stay strong in your breath. Inhale. Exhale, melt it back. Inhale, scoop the tail. Exhale, legs heavy to the right. Right on my mic pack. And we find what feels good here. Stay strong in your breath. Big inhale. Big exhale brings you back. And send the arms all the way up and overhead. And on an exhale, bend the elbows, cactus arms. Feet are lifted here. Inhale in. Exhale. Lowering the feet down with a thud. So it looks like this. Oh, yeah. Lift up. Try it again. And do one more time. Close your eyes this time. Let it go. Oh, man. That's nice. <laughs> and then when you're ready, sliding the legs out long. Centering yourself on the mat. Slowly draw the fingertips down at your sides. Take a big breath in, and on your exhale, let everything soften and relax. Let your breath return back to a nice, gentle, natural rhythm. We give thanks for our practice. Way to take this time to show up for yourself, to tend to it, to do the work so that we can cultivate our strength. I think we should all clinch the fists here and make a little strong man or strong woman thing to finish. Just even reclined, I am strong. And then let it go. Nice work, my friends. Pleasure, pleasure being on this journey with you. See you tomorrow. Namaste.